At Ironman, we embrace many aspects of Hawaiian culture as the birthplace of the competition and as a home of Ironman World Championship. Ohana is one of those special words. It's a concept that goes beyond kinship. It embraces circles of relationships that include friends, community, but it also comes with a responsibility. One's always expected as Ohana to bring honor to your family in everything that you say, everything that you do, and all that you pursue in life. And then it's being mindful. Mindful of the fact that there's a sense of love, appreciation, and compassion that you have for each other that really goes beyond the bonds of what we consider the word family to be. Ohana shares a very special bond. That's you, our athletes, our volunteers, our coaches, our spectators. And so in 2019, we honor and celebrate our Ohana. You know, you come to an event, it's everyone supports each other on the course. I feel so much support from, from the age group athletes, you know, cheering for me while they're suffering out there also. And I think that's something very unique and I, I don't think you find that in any other sport. Ohana to me is everything. It's um, who I am today. That responsibility of representing your Ohana to its fullest, no matter where you are in the world, no matter what you do. People become brothers and sisters overnight because they've gone through this Ironman experience. It creates this camaraderie, this family, this Ohana that you, you didn't know was gonna happen. You've signed up and you're taking the journey now together because it really does change you and you never look at the world the same. There's just this connection, you know what I mean? You just, you, you know what someone's gone through. Ohana is our community. People who share the same ambitions, the same you know, goals, they, the same, desire to change and improve themselves. So it's something that we can share. We can share our war stories, if you want to say, after the race, because we've all tackled the same course. I mean, it's what our sport's about. Whenever you see someone at the Ironman, it's always greeted with a smile, a handshake and a smile and a good warm hug, and you know that you're a part of that family. And that's the one thing that Ironman has over a lot of other sports. Talk about community, we all go through these trials and tribulations and I'll finally get in there. Ohana and Ironman are one and the same. It is a magical thing here on the islands, but it's something that's connected us globally. But what's amazing to see is the commitment to each other is there. Turn to your Ohana. Those are the people that will keep you on the right path, that will motivate you and drive you to be the best that you can be probably one of the most important traditions of, of Ironman that we like to stay or go back to the race site to receive the last finisher often at, at midnight. The fact that we are a community that celebrates that, you know, this, this finisher spirit, it's the mental fortitude being on the same course and being there at the same time and just, yeah, living the drama. You recognize that anything is possible when you really, really set your mind and your heart and soul to do something. If you look at somebody who's done an Ironman and they might have an M-Dot tattoo, have an M-Dot sticker on their car, you know, right? You know that that person is part of the family, that they've endured the same thing you've endured. The Hawaiian word Ohana, there's this community of Ironman, but I think it's more than that. It's a family. We look forward to continue to share this special bond as we celebrate our shared spirit of competition and the love of triathlon. Look out for the Hibiscus Badge throughout 2019 as a reminder of the incredible Ohana that we all share. And thank you for being part of Ohana. <laughs>